Okay, now we are going, um, we'll move to section C. You can skip section B. Now, let's take a look at the instruction. Pointer option. Rewrite what Marcus said to the children in the children's center using told to. So this is Marcus, and Marcus is in the children's center. He's like a, a big brother, and he's asking each of these children to do something. So let's take a look. Question one. Marcus told Anita, so let's see what he said. Anita, pick up the rubbish. So this is quite straightforward, right? So let's see. So we can say Marcus told Anita to pick up the rubbish. Okay, don't forget a full stop in the end. So remember, after two, is when they would like to talk to you. Um, let's take a look at number two. So the sentence goes, Louis, don't jump on the sofa. So basically, it's the same as the last one. However, this one has don't. Can you remember what do we use? What should we write when in the direct speech it had um, we have don't? Don't will be changed to not to, right? Remember, don't become not to. So Marcus told Louis not to. Okay, so let's take a look at number four, Dan and Emily. Marcus is telling Dan and Emily. So there are two people. Dan is a boy. Emily is a girl. He's telling Dan and Emily to do what? Do your homework by yourselves. Okay, so let's take a look. Your, it will be Dan and Emily's homework, right? Dan and Emily's homework. So we want to change this to the pronoun. It should become what? Their. Okay. Do their homework by, is it yourselves? Nope. It's that with T-H. So you need to figure out what it is okay think of the possessive adjective possessive adjective okay so miss wendy will teach you up to here for this section okay number five kelly pass your book to me So again, your, whose book is it? It's Kelly's book. To me, who is the me? Who is talking? Marcus is talking, okay? Marcus is asking Kelly to pass Kelly's book. So Kelly will become, what? To Marcus. Marcus will become what? Okay, so now we are down to section D. In section D, we are going to fill in fill in the blanks with the correct form of the given verbs. So it's like the tense practice that Miss Wendy has been giving you. So remember, the first thing you want to do is to look for the Tense marker. All right. For example, number one, my sister, do do do, tell me to post a letter for her yesterday, but I do 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 not have time to do that. So in this sentence, which word is the tense marker? 
Yeah, yesterday. That means we are going to use past tense. Now, for example, number two, Donna often go to her grandparents' home on Saturdays, but she not visit them this coming weekend. So, we have a few tense marker. For example, the first one, often. Okay, often means what tense? Another clue, on Saturdays. So every Saturday she does that. So what tense? Okay, so but something happened. On the second part of the sentence it says, this coming weekend. So what tense? Right, this is present tense. Right, this is also present tense. It's like always, right? Often is like always. And then this coming weekend. Now, Miss Wendy want to do some revision with you on the words that you should be using for present tense, past tense, and the negative version of it. For example, have. What's the past tense of have? Yeah, had. Now, what about the negative? If you see not have, what are you going to put down for present tense? Think about it. It's not have. Was not have. It's not having. Hmm. The answer is right. Does not have or do not have. Remember, the verb always go with, goes with does or do for present tense and did with past tense. So, um, have will become do not have or don't have. If it is he, she, it, we'll say doesn't have or does not have. If it is past tense, it will become did not have. Now, many of you will make mistake. You will just write not have or are not have or is not having. Okay. Remember, if it's not having will be the present continuous tense. But for present tense, it's does, do or did. Uh, yeah, present tense will be does or do. Past tense will be did. Okay, so please don't make this mistake. All right, next, we have B, all right? If you see the bracket, um, if you see that there's a, um, the B is in the bracket, for present tense, we know it's is MR, and what do we have for past tense? Yes, was were. Now, what's the negative, the not version of B? Very simple, right? So, is become is not m become m not and r because became becomes r not likewise was will become was not were will become were not so if you see b not in the bracket don't be afraid first you think about what is it in the regular sense all right and then you just add a not to it Again, these are some of the common errors. Some of you will write not be or did not be, okay? So please be careful with this. All right, so next I'm going to take a look at the future tense. For example, if the present tense is visit, future tense will be will visit. What about the not version? Present tense, remember? Present tense always go with do and does, right? So it will be does not visit or do not visit. And when it comes to future tense, it will be will not visit, will not visit. So some of the common error is you just write, if you see the bracket is not visit, you just write not visit, so it's not right. Or you will write will not visiting, 
no, 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 will not visit. Okay? So don't make these mistakes. Ah, one more. Ah, future tense for be. So the present tense is, is MR, future tense will be, will be. All right, so the not version is not am not are not, and the future version will be won't be or will not be. So the common error is you will put not be. Okay, so there will be, a, um, I've told you many common errors, so I hope you won't make this again.